mess right here is the iPong Joomla carbon fiber netting. And I was setting it up yesterday and it was incredibly hard for me to set up. I looked and there's not a video of this on YouTube. So let's get into it. All right, so I took this thing apart just so I could show you guys how to put it all back together. So what you should have is the net, two corner brackets, longer corner brackets too, uh, two of these table brackets, two of these table brackets, two of these long-ish kind of sticks, and one huge long stick that's gonna go in the very back of the net. Let's set it up on that side. So the first thing you're gonna want is you're gonna want these table brackets. Not this little thin one, the thick one. And the long corner piece. You're gonna stick these in together and this little bubble is gonna click them in. Voila, perfect. One more time with the other one. Put this one in, click it together. Voila, perfect. Now you should have something that looks like this. What's gonna happen next is we're gonna put these inside the net. You're gonna take your net and you're gonna make sure the iPong logo is gonna be facing back or towards you if you're standing facing the table. You're gonna wanna go to the corner, slide down to the very corner. Next to the ring, there is a slit. Into the slit, you're going to slide in the corresponding table side piece. You're gonna know because this corner can only go right here. There is no possible way for this piece to go to this corner. So you make sure you have the right one and you slide it into the slip next to where the ring piece is. Now that that's in, it might make things a little bit easier if you just go ahead and hook it onto the table. Just like that, nice and sturdy. We're gonna grab the other side and we are going to, once again, find the little ring and we're gonna find the slit next to the ring and we're gonna slide the pole into the slit. Perfect. And we're gonna hook this one onto the other edge over there. And now it should look something like this. iPong logo in the back facing you. Now to keep these things from shifting around, they have designed a smart little technique. This little ring, it has a purpose. You're gonna take this ring and you're gonna clip it right onto this little tiny bracket right here, just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna find our little ring and we are just going to clip it right there. Now it's starting to come along pretty well. Now we're gonna move back over to our little area where we've organized all of the pieces we're gonna need. And we're gonna grab these two poles. And we're gonna bring them back to our little project. This is going to be very easy. You take the pole, extend it, if you haven't already, and you just stick it into the other pole. And on the net, there is going to be little Velcros. You're gonna take the Velcros, there's gonna be three of them, and you're gonna hook them around the pole. It's okay if it's not standing up right now. We just wanna make sure they're on the pole so they have a good leverage to spread out the net. They're gonna look something like this when they're completely done. You've got the pole in the hole, and then you've got the Velcros holding the net up. And once more on the other side, hole into the hole and the velcro attached now it's slowly starting to look like a net even more and more and the next part is actually going to be the most fun is we're going to take this giant pole as well as these little side hinges and we're going to bring them back over to our little project area what we're going to do now is we're going to take our little hook side hinges and we're just going to clip them on 
on top of here. And for the best part is we take the giant pole, undo it if you haven't yet, and we're gonna slip it into the hole that goes all the way across the top of the net. Once that is in place, you can go ahead and put them inside of the holes up here. First side done, second side. Just a quick little slip in. Ta-da! Now it's coming along even better. So now if you shoot the balls directly at it, it gets a nice clean catch, but if you shoot off the sides, you're gonna have a very sad miss and a very dirty ball filled garage with a bunch of dirty balls. So for the last part is we're going to take these sides and we're going to clip them onto the table. Super easy. Come over here, grab the last two pieces you have not used yet. Doesn't matter which one goes where and you're gonna hook him onto your table. Once you've hooked the saw nice and sturdy, it is just as simple as taking the net and slipping it onto the little hole here. Voila, perfect. Once again, on the other side. And now your finished product should look something like this. Catching all the hard balls you'll throw at it, all the balls. Let's give it a shot with all of these balls, see how it works. I definitely missed a couple because I didn't shoot hard enough. Now the reason I shot all of those over there is for two quick tips. The first tip is, if you notice that you're throwing the balls into the corners, obviously not like that, you're throwing them into the corners and they're doing something like that, all you have to do is tighten this thing and you won't have any more problems. Perfect. And for the final tip, I was not doing this which made me really sad because I was doing it a very poor way. But you've got a little trap here underneath that's supposed to let loose all of the balls and give you a super nice and easy way to catch them. We'll take our box, line it up right underneath where this is supposed to go. And there is actually a Velcro right back here. And you can tear off the Velcro and let them drop in because I've been just holding this up and letting them fall in that way. And would you look at that? They all landed except those two inside the box. I might need a bigger box. Now that you know how to set up your carbon fiber Joomla slash iPong table tennis net, I wish you all the best of luck in your endeavors and in your service practices. And until then, this has been Tony Sticks, and may you have a ping pongy ball filled day. Look at that, I got one on the garage, that's neat.